Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Welcome. Is that it right now? <gasps> that was the probe. I have to die. I have to die to watch it again. That was the probe. I have to die, and I'm going to watch it again. Welcome to Outer Wilds. I'm going to... Uh, Commit, uh, uh, I'm gonna commit Sudo uh, Sudoku. Um, just real quick before we do anything else today, I want to. I think that'll do it. It didn't do it. All right. Well, we'll just get inside of the geyser. Uh, welcome. I was gonna say in the last episode we did some really incredible, very cool things, and we did. Uh, that'll do it. <laughs> I just got an achievement that says God in 60 seconds. We died really quickly. Uh. We had a really emotional moment after being embraced by Mother Void and the explosion. They're like, I think basically the the star of this system going supernova. Um, but right after we had taken a look at the orbital probe cannon, it's the moment the probe cannon the probe launches that I wake up, and it took us twelve episodes to figure out. Insane. Oh, man. To think that the first time that I woke up, I was looking at that sky. It's launch day, Ryan. It's launch day indigestion. I was looking at that sky. In today's episode, we are going to try to get to the bottom of the whole mystery of everything that's happening in the universe. No, just kidding. Uh, we're going to try and get to the bottom of Giant's Deep, if we can. Um, probe module is down there, so... Um, yeah. Uh, the probe module is down at the bottom of the ocean. So, our only hint so far on ocean depths, uh, is that Feldspar found a way out there, down there, and his quote, sorry, their quote was something like, um, not brute forcing it. I sort of think maybe I need to go, okay, there's an idea, holy shit, there's an idea. Can I mark anything? Um, I've done Bramble Island already. Ocean current discovery. I want to try one thing before we go to the southern the southern place of Brittle Hollow or whatever. I, I think we might we might be able to continue doing giant steep stuff. We might have to go somewhere else. I'm just not sure. But I have an idea. I have an idea. The like currents of the of the giant steep ocean are all like uh the current is like whipping you around and then the tornadoes are like whipping you out into space and then gravity is taking people back but here's my question i feel like maybe on one side of the planet i saw a large tornado and on the other side of the planet i saw many smaller tornado tornadoes I said in a couple a couple episodes ago a thing about hurricanes and eyes of the storm i wonder if i have to just go inside of the like eye of of the i feel like the eye of the big storm maybe hold up we need to do c we need to do that we need to go into the atmosphere fire thrusters so i don't hit the actual okay there's also this where there's smoke Is that? Hold up. Let's go here first. What's happening here? Unidentified signal nearby. 65 meters. There was fire. Is it Gabbro? Oh my god, is it Gabbro? I need to do the, the scout launcher and go to photo mode, yeah? There's like, uh, there's the mystery gas over here. Yep, the ghost matter, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm nervous. I've been alone enough recently, yo. 
Gavra, what are you doing? Homie. Just playing like a an Ewe, basically, like an electrical wind instrument or something. That's what it looks like. Kinda like a clarinet. Yeah, bro. Nice. It's you. <laughs> nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm definitely on my first solo launch right now. So hey, don't forget or anything, but lately I keep like dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. So it's not only me. Gabro is doing the same shit. Time has been behaving usually, unusually lately. A time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. What did you think it was? I figured it'd be some kind of fidgety time business, but I wasn't really thinking about what's happening to the shape of time, you know? A loop makes sense here. Let's go with loop for now. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. That is the major question I, I, I was wondering. So, thank you for answering it, Gabro. I tried radioing Hornfells and asked if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. So it's just me and Gabro. Why? Here's another one, a weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. There's our answer. You found a statue. I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it had seen them through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. That happened with me, to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. No glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. <clears throat> if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? Let's talk about me. Uh, I'm going to ask the questions first. The, the, the things that I think I could ask almost no matter what. What's up with this planet? I know, right? Oh, you mean like tell you more about it? I gotcha. Giant deeps, massive. Mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current and neither idea worked everything i could think of oh that's written so well i tried everything i could think of you imagine a million ideas and then gabra says and neither of the two ideas worked as for land masses i've counted four islands including this one there's also the one with the nomai statue i saw on the beach so four islands construction bramble This one. Am I missing one? The statue, uh, the, the statue workshop. You've seen the cyclones. They're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their paths, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. It's less likely to kill you. Uh, I'm going to ask the same question just to see if the dialogue changes. No. All right. Cool. Uh, what are you doing? Where should I explore on Giant Steep? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in the orbit around the planet. I'm so glad we found that out ourselves right before Gabro tells us. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I gave it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabro relaxation scale. That's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch, mostly connected. Yep, I did that one. Uh, what are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing, really? 
No, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system. Same as you. Tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island, Paradise, clean out of the water. Then it's less peaceful. Yeah, nothing about this island is... This planet has been peaceful. Yo, I found your ship, by the way. Cool. It's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long? Cyclone for so long, it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you stare at them for long enough. Hey, I found something, Gabro. What do you got for me? I reached the island of... Oh, that was, that was Gabro's poem? I found your quantum poem. The one in the woods, I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out to a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature sculpture that just like shows up and scares the living daylights out of you. That's fucking terrifying. I'm gonna look over my shoulder real quick. Nothing, okay. Uh, hey, I found something. I reached the, I, the I, inside of Statue Island. They created those head statues to record memories, huh? I could see the Nomai doing that. I'm not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember, that one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. Hey, I found what happened to the orbital space program, or uh, probe cannon. That's the cannon breaking it apart at the start of each time loop. For real? Did you figure out why? Over enthusiasm. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the cannon's still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. I think that's everything. I can always come back to Gabro and talk, which makes me really happy. Makes me really happy. All right, there's more to do on this island, it looks like. I'm so happy. Yo, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have this happen in any other way, too, right? Like, it's kind of crazy, but, like, to say, if I'd have found Gabro at the start of exploring Giant's Deep, I'd have had more information, but I'd have had less fun. I think, for me personally. I loved piecing it together and like, that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who has watched almost any of our channel. Oh God. Oh God. We're about to be taken into space. Oh fuck. Oh no. Can I roast a marshmallow? Do you have any place that I can, no? Nothing? All right, see ya. Oh God. Go to the ship, go to the ship, go to the ship. Oh no. Get on board the ship? Oh no. We're gonna wanna board the ship now. We're gonna wanna board the ship now. Oh no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fall back into space at the exact wrong moment. <gasps> it worked! Hell yeah! Oh buddy. Gabro's Island takes you. Uh, takes you where? To Statue Island, which I had been on. Yep. In the Statue Workshop. And, all right, sweet. So I think it's really all trying to find out how we get out of here. Yeah? Uh, sorry, under underneath the surface, yeah? Strong current that prevents anything from sinking below, however... Yeah, we need to find a way that, down there, though. Hmm. Well? I wonder how we get down there. Oh god, hit this button. Shit, wrong button. Oh no. That went fine. 
Let's try the big cyclone thing, yeah? This thing right here. Oh, it's at the pole. Okay, so let's just hover over the pole. Okay, I think it's right over the pole. I'm looking at my map on the left-hand side. My globe at the left-hand side. I think if we go for the pole... Oh, fuck. Am I going the wrong way? Yep. Yo! Yo, I'm a genius! I have no idea what I'm looking at, but I'm a fucking genius! On the pole, on the pole, on the pole. Let's go! What is this? Big tower, big tower, okay. Ship log updated, maybe? Come on. This might be the only safe place on this whole goddamn planet. Lots of water here. Oh my. Okay. I can't wait to find out what's happening here. Okay. Can't really launch out or do anything weird there. This is a minor question that I don't know the answer to. I don't know how to tell if I'm on the, uh, if I'm on the north or the south pole of a planet. I don't even know if it matters. But on some planets there are like... We've heard mention of like southern observatories and such, you know? I wonder if red is... Maybe red's north. I would guess red is north. I'm basing that on literally nothing. I'm gonna guess red is north. All right, we got a long hallway. Oh, some writing. Oh, buddy. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or fir her first quantum journey. Please, am I actually going to get the knowledge? Oh, I can't wait. Please. What's going to happen? Oh, I'm so ready for that. Oh, we are really high up there. Enter this place without friends, however. They, these are lessons to learn for yourself. Seems like a big hole. I don't know that I want to go into the big hole yet. Just let me look around a little bit. I don't know that I want to dive down the big ass hole yet. Please. Please, please, please. Alright, it's just trees. I gotta go in the hole. Fuck. Ooh. Okay, it caught me. Oh my god. Seek the wandering arch. Yep, if I look away. Alright. I just want to look around a small bit before I do. Wait, fuck. I, I just had it. Damn it, it's right here. Alright, cool. Can't look away. I can't. There it is. I was stuck on a lip of, of something. Unidentified signal nearby. Island shard. Frequency discovered. Quantum fluctuations. Oh. There's many, min there's some many, many, many meters that way. Huh. Okay, I think that's the one piece of information they were trying to give us here, which is you. Okay. Ooh. 
Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Observing a quantum object or observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Does that mean using my... my thing to take pictures of them? Yo, hold up. Wait, wait a second. Yeah, it just disappears. <laughs> Sorry, wrong button. Um... Oh, I'm tripping out again. Is that how you get it to stay? Is that? Oh my god, is that it? I put this away. It's gone. I have to take a picture of this and then I can walk up one of these and there's a thing. It might be the same shit. I have no idea. It is. Okay. Weird. What a weird, weird thing. Take a picture of it. It will wander, which is why these are, it will wander. Be <laughs> that. You could take a, a, a GIF or a GIF, however you want to say it, of the thing that I just did right there, and that would be my explanation of this game. That that thing will wander unless you take a picture of it because of these pillars here. And so you have to anchor it in place with your scout launcher, which I've always thought was the weirdest fucking tool in the game, and it turns out it has the most important purpose. Wild. Wild. Oh, that's for walking. I understand. Okay. Oh, I got stuck. I didn't mean to. I just actually want to go over there and read that thing. I didn't mean to do this. Oh, no. Don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Nope. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck. Okay, I'm stuck, but I actually want to go over there and read. I don't know what I did. The arch and crystal do not naturally meet. The arch and the crystal do not nat naturally meet. So, arch? I understand. You have to solve puzzles now. Once I'm here, I should be able to look at the other places. Maybe? Nope, did I do that wrong? Oh my god, my head's turned around. Hold up. My brain hurts. Alright. I can do this. I don't think it's going to show up here. However, I need to I need to lock one of them in place. Probably that one. Until I can turn around and the the gym is on the right one, yeah? Wait, shit, what just happened? Did I hit a button? There it is. Okay. You got to roll the dice on one of them until you can I understand. Oh, fuck. I should have taken a picture of it, too. No, I understand. I thought I understood, but he did not. Narrator. He did not, in fact, understand what he was talking about. Now we take a picture of them both. They're both locked. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Oh my god. What a good fucking game, man. It's such a puzzle. You know? It 
such a cool puzzle. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk out of here now too. This is the last one, but we made it harder. I love that. Okay. I have to take a picture of that one and then keep looking away until it's in the right spot. Is there a medium distance? We've seen it right beside it, but is there a medium? No. There. Stay. And then I need to take a picture of you. Stay. Yes. Holy fucking shit, this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna keep going because I, I'm I'm a little nervous that I need to that I that I'm gonna run out of time here. So I need to keep going. I know it pauses when I'm reading though. So we have a what looked like either Nomai or the like a representation of Nomai, and we have something there which I don't know. We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum uh, pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Okay. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. I have actual goosebumps right now. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. Anything else up here? Just that. Okay. This is the place. This is where we were. This is the place we started at. Wow. Oh, man. What a cool, very cool moment, man. Oh. I don't know what to say other than that I'm just, like, wild, you know? It's so obvious in ret retrospect, too, right? All right. The Tower of Quantum Something. Trials. It held knowledge and no mind needed to make his or her, his or her first quantum journey. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. This is the rule of quantum imaging. The other quantum shards have other lessons to teach, which should point us other ways. Quantum shard. Um, okay. This shard is the reason objects in this grow behave in a quantum manner. This shroud is actually a piece of the quantum moon. There's the quantum grove. Quantum signal. On the hourglass twins. Tower of quantum knowledge, which is on Brittle Hollow's equator. And then the quantum moon itself. Oops, wrong button. I think we definitely want to get back to uh, actual timber hearth too, and get to that, get to that uh, quantum shard and see if it has a lesson for us. You know, there's more to explore here. It says that's right. That's right. Okay, it does. Hell yeah. In that case, oh wrong button. Uh, in that case. Let's go. Have we ever made it back to Timber Hearth? We've, uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. We've left Timber Hearth. But have we ever. Uh, landed back on it. Um, let's try and steep. There, let's go. Nope, we want to land at it. Go for it. Engage autopilot. Let's just do that. <laughs> I know we're running out of time for this episode, but I kind of want to see if I can land back at the quantum shard and wrap that whole idea up. The music is starting, so I think we might be in a race against time itself. 
We'll see. Oh, you can look around. I didn't know that. What is that thing, by the way? I don't know. We're zooming. We are zooming. How's the sun look? Looking pretty red. Looking pretty pissed. Boy, what are you? I wonder, right? Uh, all right. Board autopilot. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh god. Um. Okay, so the plate. Oh fuck. We have too much acceleration. Uh, the place we were trying to go was like. That's home. Was it in here? No, I don't know what the fuck that is. Was that it? I don't think so. No, I don't know what that is. We're gonna have to go back for that. What the fuck? We're looking for a tiny little... This. I'm sure this is it. Yeah, yeah. Nope, that ain't it either. Fuck. Alright, well, we'll visit that later. I'm sure this is it, he says. He was not, in fact, sure that that was it. And on the South Pole? I'm using all of my time, and I'm definitely about to get eaten up by the sun. I think it was ruins. Shit, I don't know that that was it either. <laughs> How am I getting so turned around on this, uh... There's it. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, that's all right. It's fine. We don't have a ton of time. Just go. It was on the other pole, it turns out. Oh, no, it's going. Lean in the water. First off, why? Get close. Give me the, give me the thing. Grove shard. Incredible. Second off. Take a picture of you. Now run around, see what happens. Now we look at the music, man. The music, a race against time. Now where's shit at? They're both locked there. I don't know that there's anything more to learn here. I'm just, I'm just locking stuff in with my pictures before I die here. That might be about it. Okay. Well, this is as nice as a, a place as any to watch the ending of the world, yeah? Well, I could, I could also do it in space. Oh, shit. Ah, fly, I'm falling. I'm falling. All right, cool. Ouch. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like and a positive comment down below would help us out a ton with the good old YouTube algorithm. Until next time, I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Outer Wilds. We're just going to enjoy this little... The, uh, the, fading of, the fading of our life. And the re recollecting of our memory. <laughs> oh, this is a fun one. I like this one. I hope you did too. Oh. I'm recording some of these episodes before I go on uh, a, a small vacation with my wife. And I honestly just want to get done with vacation so I can come back and play this game. Why am I like this? Why is this game doing this to me? I should be able to enjoy vacation. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye bye